Welcome to the world of Happy Legs. This is the instructional part of the video. When you receive your Happy Legs, it'll come in one box. You'll take it to a flat surface. You'll open up the box. And you'll put the stilts up, magnet side down, to the approximate width and length of the dog that you're going to work. You can reposition at any time. Then you're going to get your dog. You're going to bring him parallel to the box. Your right hand will go onto his chin. Your left hand will reach over his chest and dangle the front feet over the front stilts. Your right hand holds the collar. Your left hand goes down and puts the back feet up on the stilts, either one at a time or lift the whole back end up, whichever is easier. He's fumbling and this is perfectly okay. We're going to remind you again and again, and all this is okay. This, what he just did, is perfectly okay. You let the dog do this. They're learning that there's one place to stand, but it's just a game. It's not difficult. If they kick a stilt over, just praise them and tell them it's okay. There's nothing wrong with this. And you're going to look. You're going to just pet the dog and be relaxed. You're going to tell them stand, stay, pretty stand, stay. Very nice, and now the dog is already doing what you're asking him to do. At any point in time, if the dog wiggles off, jumps off, stumbles off, let him. It's okay. He's learning that there's a particular place to put his foot. Mm -hmm. Let him stumble off, bring him right back around and try it again, and bring him right back around. So she's going to let this dog get off. Good boy. Bring him back around and we'll do it again. You're going to bring him parallel to the box. Hold it, hold the chin with your right hand, with your left right hand. Your left hand picks the dog up in the chest, dangles the front feet over the stilts. I would put both feet in the box. Let's do it this time. Put both feet it just in the box. Pick his butt up and put both feet in the box, not on the stilts. Now pick one foot up at a time. Try that. Again, and this dog is stacked up a little too far. She should move the front stilts back and look, he's just comfortably staying there. He's not upset. She's moving the stilts back even while the dog is up there. He's not upset. He's not jumping around. He understands the game. These stilts are big enough to fit their foot. Magnets are strong enough to hold the stilts. And he's not going to tip over so there's nothing to be afraid of. Look at her reposition the feet, go back and forth. See, he doesn't even get so upset when she moves the stilts out from underneath him. Uh, move all four feet again. This feet close, the front foot closest to me is hanging off the stilt. So go over there and reposition the foot. Perfect. And see, he let he learns how to let you move his feet. She's going to touch all feet in the back. Move both back feet. Pick them up. Put them back down. You're practicing this whole time, and you're saying, "Good boy. Good stand. Stay." So they learn this is just a game. So now you're going to do all the different positions you're going to do in the show ring. You're going to go out and free bait. You're saying stand, stay the whole time. Good stand, stay. Now as the judge might approach you for the judge to go over his bite, you're going to pull the collar up and you're just going to stand there and hold him. Now let's say the judge is going over the dog's mouth. You're going to go to the back of the dog. Perfect. And you're going to do this pose. Okay, let's say the judge wants to go over his bite and ask you to show the bite. So you're going to practice showing the bite to the judge. Very good. And another pose with some of these sporting dogs will be down on one knee. That's a pretty pose. And even go to the side of him and one hand does the tail and one hand does the head like the sporting dog people do. How about that one? And golden retrievers. Perfect. So 30 seconds, 45 seconds. You reward the dog. And this time uh, lift his front, front legs off the stilts lift his and then just let him come down off the rest. That's how I suggest you get a dog off the stilts, rather than letting them just jump off the stilts.